the idea that you would want to bring a child into the world who's going to have to live most of their life in a, in a climate disaster is pretty horrifying. I just can't justify bringing another child into the world that I know is going to have such an imprint on the planet. Like, I just can't ethically bring myself to do that. I'm Emma, this is Rory. Oh yeah, we've been together three and a half years and we are child free. <laughs> my name is uh, Bettina Zorli and I'm 29 years old. So I have my uh, Instagram account where I speak about like the injection of being a parent. It was a personal decision at first, and then it became uh, really a statement about feminism and about ecology for my part. I think this is now a political choice for many people and for me. I'm vegan, we don't drive, we try not to buy fast fashion. So there's like a lot of lifestyle choices that we have made that are influenced by the climate emergency, but it sort of feels like those choices are cancelled out, I guess, if we were to have children and reproduce. I think the term antinatalist can frighten people a little bit and they sort of think like, do you just want to sterilise the entire population? But yeah, I mean, I think there's an ethical issue with people in the developed world having children. It is maybe a, a good term to use in some ways though, because it gets right to the heart of of why you don't want children. Mm. So for example, I, I would personally be okay with adopting a child or with being a foster parent. I don't personally relate to this term of anti-natalism, uh, but I do understand. We should really have some uh, thinking about the way we procreate because we are too many on earth. But I am not anti-natalist because I do understand that people have a strong desire to be parents. I'm too anxious about the future and about what will happen to us, to, our, to the comfort that we are in, to the way we live today. Um, I'm too anxious about the next decade to make a baby. When I kind of realised what was happening with climate change and then once you become aware of those things, you realise that um, having children is kind of <laughs> pretty much the, the last thing you want to do from an environmental point of view. It's just this idea that you don't want children in your 20s, but you'll change your mind kind of thing, like your biological clock will kick in. But even if my biological clock kicked in, I still wouldn't do it because I don't think it's ethical. Actually, I'm quite happy to turn 30 soon, and I'm quite happy when I will be 35 or 40 because I'm pretty sure about my choice. And I'm really, I will be really happy when I will be 40 or 50 to say, yeah, I'm still child free, you know? <laughs>